Afghanistan's election commission made it official that Ashraf Ghani will be the country's next president. Now, in announcing these long-awaited election results from the runoff election in June, the election commission did not give out any numbers. And of course, Ashraf Ghani will be ruling with his political rival, Abdullah Abdullah. They made a political deal, a new unity government. The two rivals now partners. Side by side, they signed the deal that gives Afghanistan a unity government, with a president sharing power with the newly created role of chief executive. It took weeks for the men to get to this point. May God bless you all with success and prosperity so you can be in the service of the Afghan nation day and night and complete the jobs we couldn't fulfill so that we can continue with a happy and steady life in our country. The two men's parties will share the ministries and governor's positions in the new administration. Today is a mix of a good news and a bad news. The good news is that it's an end to a long time uh, political crisis. But the bad news is a huge setback to democracy in Afghanistan. For some Afghans, the unity government isn't the answer they were looking for. We disappointed. It was not our votes that decided this. They could have made a deal six months ago. The political stalemate has hurt the economy and inflamed a delicate security situation. One of the new president's first tasks will be signing a security agreement to allow U.S. and NATO forces to remain in Afghanistan until next year to train and support Afghan troops. The new government will face a number of challenges. Afghanistan is still heavily dependent on international aid, corruption is widespread, and the extended political process has left many Afghans suspicious of politicians. They want a government which will unite them and help put the economy back on its feet. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.